Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E, and I'm back with another one. I pre-shuffled the cards out so that I can make a quick video. This is a bonus reading for Pisces. I'm trying to get this camera together so y'all can see what these cards look like. But the first row is what's going on in our situation, what's going on in our lives. This second row is going to focus on what to expect, the unexpected, what we don't see, what's coming. And this third row is going to cover what your spirit wants you to know. So, I shuffled out some oracle cards for the first row. And in this first row is what's going on is uh, we need to enjoy the growth and reap the rewards. You know what I'm saying? We sold good seeds and we rip the benefits um of these seeds all this green represents abundance love creativity this red just represents being rooted and grounded that represents that root chakra and these plump apples just means that you know some people are starting to reap what they manifested you know what i'm saying coming up under that i shuffled out the writer's deck i'm gonna go with under the deck after I read all the rows, it's the uh, four swords in reverse. So somebody see you reaping your rewards and your benefits, and they not rest. They can't rest. These motherfuckers can't even rest and recover. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, they can't let you rest and recover and just be fucking happy. And this is a main female, okay? This is a bit of bitch that's looking at you. And can't even fucking get no rest. Real talk. This is what I'm seeing here. Okay. And you just shine the motherfucking bright like a star. Trusting in the divine. You know what I'm saying. Manifesting your abundance. And you got somebody that can't rest over this situation. This is another feminine energy. That's what I'm feeling. So masculine. Y'all could be in y'all star energy manifesting. And y'all got to. A feminine energy that can't motherfucking rest because you fucking healing and working on your fucking abundance and feminine fem, uh, uh, Pisces. Y'all got a motherfucking bitch that can't fucking rest watching you and your star power manifest and receive it from the universe, okay? And this is the ethos. The seamless unspeakable. Okay, so they trying to wonder how you manifesting what it is that you manifesting. That's because you trusting in the ethos. And this is what's going on in the motherfucking current moment with us Pisces, okay? So we got somebody watching. This is just coinciding with the last reading that I just did. But let's get to this because this message get beautiful towards the end. You know what I'm saying? So what's unexpected is just saying spirit is telling you to see beyond the current situation. Because we just did a reading that's just flat out let us know that somebody is doing uh, black magic and throwing negative energy. You know what I'm saying? Out of hatred. So this is just saying use your intuition and see beyond the current situation. Because, you know, toxic options is going to be thrown your way. But you need to step in your power because somebody is doing spell work. And the reason why this person is doing this because her masculine is ready to take this journey toward this lover. This is what he manifesting. Spirals of manifestation. Lovers. Journey. Okay. He want to make it do what it do. Jamie Foxx is on. Put it on me. Hey. You want to get better? People lift the thighs up. He want somebody to lift the thighs up, baby. Okay. He want to know what you want to do. You want to get high? You want to get fired up? You want to get sex, you want to get tied up, for real. This is for 18 and older, for real. But, uh, yeah, th this man is ready to take these journeys. He see you got these options. He didn't came, he didn't, he's seeing through this illusion. And this is just race, gracious receptivity. He receiving the love that you didn't gave. And he reminiscing upon the past. This man got a lot of passion. He ready to take this 
journey and you can receive this love graciously. Okay? And spirit wants you to know that you, you know, you in this shape shift the energy. It's time to transform and unveil your gifts. Because this man did not see you in this light before. You know what I'm saying? You stepping out on faith. You being you. You you know, you let your, your light shine. And people seeing the whole other side of you. And spirit is just telling you to embrace that. Transform and unveil all your gifts. Your guys, your spirit animals, and everybody is there to protect you. And they protecting this happy family that you manifesting. You manifesting this ten of cups. This masculine is manifesting this ten of cups. He see this connection that sudden wealth. And when this lover come in, he coming in with sudden wealth. This is going to be a lucky situation in love. If not, it's going to bring pinnacles. You know what I'm saying? Because both of y'all about that life. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all got y'all shit together. Both of y'all focused on y'all abundance. And both of y'all together is going to bring in this sudden wealth. And this ace of pentacles came after that. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what you manifest. And this is what he manifested. You got this ace of pentacles. This ace of cups that you manifest in this love. And he manifested this in his mind. So both of y'all was manifesting this. You just need to receive it. And trust in your intuition. All of these, this whole stack fell out. So I'm going to go through this whole stack. It say release alliances. You know what I'm saying? Be sweet. Be sweet. Because these are bees all over her. Either you can get stung or you can get honey from this situation. So you need to release alliance in this new beginning because this is 10. And then this is 9. Do what you feel. What do you feel? Why are you comparing? You know what I'm saying? You can't compare the past with the present. You can't compare apple to oranges. You know what I'm saying? You can get an apple that's skin is thin, but the inside is sour. Or you can get an orange and be firm on the outside, but sweet on the inside. You know what I'm saying? And you don't basically know what you're getting because the moon is out there. And the moon represents the unknown. And she's sitting in the dark and she ain't even looking at the apple and the orange. So it's like, just go within. The perfection of your life is burning away. You got to go with the flow. You can't conjure up this perfect romance in your head and think that it's going to go accordingly. You know what I'm saying? You need to burn that mindset down and, and just go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Take life how I bring it to you because what you want wants you. Okay, you spiraling, you manifesting this. You manifesting this ace of cups. This person is manifesting you. What you want, want you. What he won't want you, you want him. Okay? What's up under here? Pandora's gift. <laughs> I'm thinking about Pandora's box, them secrets, but I'm saying this is Pandora's gift. This relationship is a gift because I feel like this, this, connection is a divine connection and once i get into these bottom of the decks y'all gonna understand why but we got communication and co-creation and i feel like this is the divine bringing you two together to communicate so you guys can co-create because it's something that you supposed to be co-creating and with this legacy of life i see a child coming out of this situation so bottom of the deck and the first row so this is what spirit wants you to know. Spirit wants you to know to trust in your talents and in your gifts. Unveil them gifts and be happy in the situation. Love is coming. This is what you manifest and it's going to bring this sudden wealth. But you need to release the alliances and know that what you want, won't you. You know what I'm saying? Do what you feel. And um, don't, don't have expectations about people. You know what I'm saying? Accept people for what they is. Because it's going to be a gift, okay? And, and um, communicate so you guys can be able to co-create and work together. And this is just saying follow the voice of your soul. And take note of your intuitive messages up or under here. So this is just basically listen to the voice of your soul and your, your intuition while you're on this new adventure. Okay? This person is looking at what they put in all the years they put into this situation. 
could have been eight years. You know what I'm saying? Eight or more years. And they ready to take a new adventure in another direction, a more positive, uplifting direction. You know what I'm saying? And this, the fool is right after that. So this person is ready to take a leap of faith because right after this, we got marriage. And we got a child. Okay? With a false person. So... Maybe they was in a marriage and they didn't have a child with a false person. But this person want to move forward with this situation. Because they see it as the nine of pentacles. And with this page of wands, this person is just manifesting this. This is an emperor. You know, he dealing with conflict right now. Let me pull these up. <laughs> if I can get them. He dealing with conflict, but he in this King of Cup energy, and he thinking about how you know he can move forward with this situation, with this hair font sitting up under this and this Six of Cups. Wait, no, this hair font. Something happened within this, uh, with this false person called uh, uh Ten of Swords, because that Ten of Swords was under that hair font. But after that, it's the legacy of life. So you guys are uh, coming together to create a legacy of life. And I see you guys coming together to create an offspring. And this is just saying focus on the light because this, this, this connection is free from judgment. And bottom of the deck with the last cards is the heart chakra. Unfurling it back to love. And this is journey to wholeness. You unfurling back to love on your journey to wholeness and you healing Pisces. You exploring yourself internally. And this is what's manifesting this person back to you because they see you in your freedom. And they see this full spectrum and, the, and you balancing out. And these forces is helping you balance out. Balance out. And this is just you listening to the sounds of the universe as you reclaim your energy back in order to be aligned with yourself. Oh my God, these cards are speaking. You know what I'm saying? And this is just the earth star chakra. You know what I'm saying? You and your star power. This is that water energy all day long, Pisces. This is star sea elemental. And she of the lotus, okay? The ever unfolding lotus. So this is beautiful. This person got somebody still connected to their energy. They looking at you. They looking at how you manifest. And this is causing this person to, uh, they can't not to be able to rest. You know what I'm saying? They still holding love for this masculine who they clearly turned their back on the situation and journeying towards you. And this feminine is doing some shit because I'm looking at this, uh, seer card. And it's telling you to see beyond the current situation to create obstacles in your uh, connection. You know what I'm saying? And all these fake and uh, fucked up ass options for you and your masculine. And it's just saying stand in your power and use your intuition. And I think that's what this masculine is starting to wake up and do. I feel like Pisces, we didn't already did that. We focused on our healing journey. This person is going on a journey and they heading back to love, okay? They manifesting this love back and they want you to graciously accept it. Spirit is telling you to just be happy. If this is what makes you happy, this is your ten of cups. Go towards your ten of cups because this situation is going to turn out positive. It's a lucky out front for this situation because we got this lovers and we got this sudden wealth out here. And it's uh, clarified by the uh, uh, Ace of Cups. You know that ultimate love, joy, and success. You know what I'm saying? Whew. And this is just saying, this is Pandora's gift. This is your gift from the universe. What you want, won't you? This is what you manifesting. The, perf the perfection of your life. You know how you want your life to go. So make it that. Your, the perfection of your life, but you you got to know what you feel. What do you feel? 
you got to go by what you feel, but then at the same time, make head over hard decisions and release allegiances so that you can be able to communicate and co-create in a healthy manner in order to create this legacy of life because this man is moving forward on this new adventure. It's going to lead to a marriage. This whole situation is unfurling back to love. So, this is a beautiful reading. It took me 15 minutes to do this, even though I reshuffled the cards. If I'd have shuffled them out, it'd probably been 30 minutes or more. I like this, um, but if you like the reading, my name is Empress Eda and Toyative Messengers. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good evening.